What's going on everybody, this is Ken, and today I'm going to be giving you my review for the Plantronics Backbeat Pro headphones. These are Plantronics that's kind of step into the somewhat hi-fi or sort of high-end range of headphones. Um, and they do a pretty decent job considering all the features that these phones have and also the price tag that they're offered at the present time. Uh, now these headphones aren't new by any means, they've actually been out for a good while. But even with that, these are still a pretty solid set of headphones and they're probably going to be good to last you a really long time. So in this review, I'm going to be talking about the design, uh, the headphone features, of course, and last but not least, the audio quality. Um, and I'll begin with the design. So right off the bat, when you look at these headphones, they have a pretty solid premium feel to them. Uh, the actual ear cups themselves have like a really soft, leathery type texture to them and they feel really good and comfortable on your ears. The inner pads are kind of like a satiny type color and the uh, purple and black kind of give these headphones a really nice really nice look to them. It's not really my color preference but they, uh, they look pretty solid. If you look at the headband it's also made from that very plush leather material and it's very very soft and padded. They do a pretty good job and hold together pretty well. Um, they don't feel cheap, they're not lightweight. Uh, now don't get me wrong, lightweight headphones are actually a good thing. Um, a lot of people get that confused with, with the quality of the actual build, but these headphones do have a decent size weight to them, or have a decent weight to them that just make it feel like they're, like, they're, like they're pretty nice. Does that affect the way you actually wear them? Is it really uncomfortable to wear? Not necessarily. I actually bought these to use in the gym. Uh, which these type of headphones are sort of like a no-no unless you're one of those guys that wear like the beats in the gym uh, but surprisingly uh, wearing these especially during my my treadmill runs they actually don't get really hot and they don't make my ears sweat so bad which is which is not bad um, and of course whenever you're just sitting around listening to music or you're just walking around the house with these headphones on they're so comfortable you won't really be worrying about taking them off of your head the adjustments of the headphones themselves aren't too bad. They're very, very snappy and they click pretty well and they don't actually slide back and forth very easily, so that's pretty good. The cups themselves actually swivel up and down, uh, so they get some pretty good ear comfort, uh, but they don't swivel back and forth. They only swivel backwards, uh, which makes it handy to put around, you know, if you're putting around your neck, you know, to take them off temporarily while you're walking around, but uh, they don't really have that extra adjustment to go with there. Now as we look around the headphones and notice the different buttons and the different switches, uh, we are starting to kind of get into the features a little bit. On the right ear cup, you'll notice the power on off switch, which is in a pretty convenient location. You do get a voice prompt to tell you that, uh, of course, it's powering on, the status of your battery, uh, whether or not you're in pairing mode, or if you're receiving a phone call and things like that. If you look on the actual dial, it's a very smooth and solid feeling dial. It doesn't jiggle or move out of place, which is pretty nice. Uh, the actual button on the side is just a basic call button. Press and hold for Siri, or if you're on Android, OK Google, or S voice if you're a Galaxy user and things like that. If you look towards the bottom though, it looks what appears to be a mute button, uh, but it's actually a lot more than that. Well, let's say you're listening to some music and somebody approaches you and you press this button, it amplifies the audio around you and it allows you to listen to your surroundings a lot better. Uh, so conversations are amplified, you can hear little nicks and knacks in the background. It's pretty cool. It's actually kind of fun to play with even when you're not listening to music. I was actually able to hear some conversations across the room from me and even at work when I was playing around with it. It's kind of a fun yet somewhat creepy function but uh, it does come handy uh, for the most part. This mode also activates whenever you answer a phone call so you can hear your voice clearly while you're talking to the other person and you can still pay attention to your surroundings. On the left ear cup you're met with another dial but this one seems like it's kind of like on a belt. Um, you twist it forward and backward to be able to skip your song or go back a song, which is kind of neat. And again, very solidly built, doesn't jiggle around or anything like that. And you got your basic pause button in the center with the NFC logo on the top side, which uh, in addition to Bluetooth, this headphone does actually pair up with your phone via NFC if your phone does support that. So it's just like a quick tap and you're good to go. Um, very, very nice function. And if you notice here, there's also another switch on the cup. It activates what's called active noise cancellation. Um, so very similar to like the Bose or the Beats and even some of the Sony headphones, um, it does exactly what it says. Now it's not nearly as good as the noise cancellation that Bose offers, but uh, the flip side of that is you can actually listen to your music 
with this on or off without sacrificing any audio quality, which is a really cool function. The active noise cancellation does work very well considering uh, using this on the treadmill or if I'm outside running, you don't hear any cars, you don't hear any like fans blowing, you don't hear treadmill belts kind of rolling around. It's just a very peaceful, quiet experience. Um, and it does make the audio sound a lot better. So uh, not a bad function to add for these type of headphones. On the bottom of the ear cup, you'll notice, you'll notice two different inputs. You got the charging input, obviously, which is micro USB, and then you have your auxiliary 3.5 jack. Now, charging these headphones takes a good little while, I've noticed, uh, but the actual box advertises that this headphone does about 24 hours of performance. Now, um, other people have reported that it's actually been longer than that to be able to go a whole entire week uh, with this battery, uh, I've personally experienced an entire month without having to charge this. Yes, I know that sounds crazy. My only purpose for these were to use them in the gym. I rarely use them for other uh, other applications, but um, I'm in there about an hour, hour and a half, and five days a week. So I guess you know the hours do add up um, if you're not using it continuously, but. I was able to get an entire month, but the average user should be able to get close to 24 hours. Uh, so very, very good, good battery life with these headphones. Another solid point with these. Um, and that in itself is, is a pretty solid selling point for these guys is the incredible battery life. And of course your auxiliary port, you know, that's used to be able to plug in your headphones in the event that your battery does actually die. Um, you can still listen to your music. And if you're the type of person that wants to get the maximum fidelity from your headphones, uh, this port does indeed deliver, especially when you plug this up to like a DAC or something. This is, this the performance on these are really, really good. Which leads me to my next point is of course, the audio quality. Uh, I'm not a big, big audiophile by any means, but I will tell you that if you look for mids and highs and things like that, you're not gonna be disappointed. The headphones have a very, very solid low end, uh, really good mids, really good lows. The mids are very, very prominent though. Highs are also really, really good too. They don't really, you know, stick out, but you know, they're still relatively nice. Now I'll tell you, in using these to listen to music by myself in my bedroom, what have you, these have actually outperformed the Bose Sound Trues, in my honest opinion. Um, I do like Bose, Bose is a really good company, but I will have to say the Plantronics has definitely beaten them in that arena with this headphone. Can't really give you a demo, obviously, because you know, you're know you not here to listen to these things, but trust me, if you're a music enthusiast, if you like wireless headphones, if you like features, this is an awesome set of headphones. And at a price point of $250, considering all the different features that these headphones have to offer, there's really nothing else that can beat it. I uh, do give these a thumbs up, and these are 100% recommended. All right, guys, that was my review for the Backbeat Pros. I hope you guys found it informative and helpful. If you have any questions or comments, uh, leave them in the boxes below, and I will see you guys in the next video. Take care.